so depressed by the discussions on Reddit surrounding the women in tech job fair. You might have seen a couple posts on all about this job fair that is meant for women and NBS. But had a ton of men show up. As if it's not depressing enough when men invade spaces meant for women. The Reddit comments were far worse. I can't count how many comments said imagine if there was a job fair for only men in Tech 1-1. Which is basically the same sentiment as all lives matter. The overwhelming consensus on Reddit was to praise the men for crashing the event and to criticize the event for daring to exist in the first place. I even saw one comment that said women in tech have it easy enough as it is bro have you ever spoken to women in tech? Someone find that video of the girl recording her CS class full of men casually joking about rape. It's funny because I'm white. But if I saw a job fair for black people in tech as they are underrepresented in the industry, my only reaction would be oh that's cool. I would never be like that's discrimination what about white people in tech. I don't understand the need these men seem to have to make everything about them. Had to vent. I love being an engineer but seeing such visceral negative reactions to any sort of die in STEM always bums me out. Edit lol thanks for the reddit cares. Women have it easy in tech? They are so disconnected from reality. My city has a lot of veterans and there are several veterans only tech industry job fairs every year. Even when I was desperate I didn't attend because I'm not a veteran and that space is not for me. That shouldn't be a difficult concept. Some people were never taught that they aren't entitled to something just because they want it and it shows. Some idiot came to me crying about how he was also discriminated against and claiming that men forcing their way in was a taste of equality. First of all, it's not a wall of women keeping him from getting a job in programming. I can guarantee that. Second, oh boy. My oppressor is doing the same shitty thing to someone who doesn't look like me is not fucking equality. I saw someone saying that it was punk as fuck that men stormed the place because they were literally breaking down discriminatory gender barriers and then jokingly added it was another thing men were better at than women. With this, the never-ending Madonna whore body count threesome pressure porn bullshit, abortion, the whole tradwife thing, and on. I'm honestly, truly, 100 considering just not making contact with men outside my family. They don't even try to pretend they don't hate us anymore. I just don't care who they are or what they want or how great of a guy they think they are. I'm just done with all of them. I love how people say women are the over-emotional ones and then you had a bunch of idiots. Literally wasting their time and having hissy fits over a goddamn event. Imagine if there was a job fair for only men in tech. Oh, yeah. Like the entirely of the late 80s through the early aughts. Lol. It was so maddening seeing people praising people for their modern solutions to modern problems aka lying on a form and ignoring the need to redress the lack of women in tech. Ugh this gets me going. I work in a tech company and one year. Our women in tech erg did an initiative to increase the number of female hires. We gave out extra referral bonuses to the employees who referred the largest number of qualified female candidates. We had to cut the initiative short because our employees would refer their male friends. Then enter themselves into the initiative as if they had referred a woman. We tried doing a count halfway through only to realize over 80 of the people referred through the initiative were men. I ended up withdrawing from the erg shortly after that. It was so demotivating. I've worked in IT for four years and I've only ever worked with one other woman. Multiple jobs from entry level to niche. Misogyny is a huge problem in pretty much every job I've been in I left my last job when they tried 
To make me follow a dress code obviously made for men with no consideration for women. They also made me train a male technician with dramatically less experience than me. I found out he was making $11 hour more than me. I spent weeks cleaning up his messes. Yeah an older male co-worker told me that sexism doesn't anymore. Why? Because he had a woman for a boss once in his 20 year plus career. I just can't. There are no women engineers at my company. There used to be one. But she was fired almost two years ago. I mentioned in an anonymous survey that our engineering team was very male and very white and very typically able-bodied and that we needed more diversity to account for engineering implementation blind spots. The line back from the company was that we hire the best people. Not to meet quotas. I've been looking for a new job. They not only crashed the event but some also sexually harassed and stalked some of the women there. If was vile. Tech companies have recently let a bunch of people go and aren't hiring because of the economy. This can ebb and flow. But a lot of men blame diversity hires for lack of jobs on the CS Careers subreddit. It's very frustrating and they always blame their lack of job on whatever boogeyman they come up with. Not to mention the we hired you because you're pretty bullshit that makes me not feel like I'm being taken seriously. I'm glad I found respect where I work now as a web dev. But I'm a bit scared of going corporate again. I sincerely doubt or maybe just hope many of the men who pulled that stunt got a callback from the recruiters. I know some people who attended. And recruiters were not amused by this shit. Disclaimer um cis male myself. This was pretty fucking low by the dudes that went. Ridiculous to see praise for this. It's a bunch of losers that can't compete when the talent pool swells beyond just white men. I'm old enough to have raised pet dinosaurs. I could not care a Tyrannosaurus toot about what someone identifies as sleeps with wants to marry. As long as it's all safe. Sane and consensual. However, if an event is targeted at a group that I do not belong to well. Crikey I just don't sign up for it. I'm an old lady. I am not signing myself up for nursery intake breastfeeding classes Boy Scouts badges. They are useful for some people. But not for me. So I don't turn up for them. Men you know you can do better so be better. A lot of conservative white men that have never experienced discrimination seem to genuinely not be able to tell the difference between bullies harassing people out of an area and victims trying to Make rules to keep these bullies out. One is trying to deny opportunities to others. The other is trying to safely open opportunities that were being restricted by bullies. Men's only spaces were typically the former. Women's only spaces are typically the latter. White men are convinced they are a minority now despite all evidence to the contrary. Ugh. Men ruin everything. Why can't they just let us have one thing for ourselves? It's not like we're trying to exclude them from the entire tech industry. But of course. Reddit has to make it all about them and their fragile egos. SMH. These are men who can't keep a job for more than six months because they can't code. They will never get past entry level. They complain that their companies didn't hold their hands and teach them to do their jobs and Repeat lines like everyone wants a senior developer for a junior salary. They think because their only hobby is playing video games that qualifies them to be a developer. Should have taped new. In packaging tampons to the door handles. They wouldn't have dared enter. Source work a trade job. Lots of men. Lots of engineers. They all get upset when menstrual products are brought up. My brother has decided I have it easy in construction. Because of hiring quotas in the unions that I am not in. Let's be real. Charging $600 to $1,300 per ticket for an opportunity to basically interview with a behemoth and 
Faceless Tech Corp is less an opportunity and more a money grab.